Hi, and welcome to RetroEric. Sometimes you want to connect a media device like this uh, MP32L to uh, a computer with no uh, DB15 output. So you cannot use this adapter that co converts DB15 to MIDI. But we have a solution. We can use this uh, communication to MIDI port device. So let's check it out. It is easy. We connect the adapter to the serial port. We turn on the machine. We type soft MPU, start game. We could have ended the video here, but of course we don't. We have at least one more thing we need to tell you. The only drawback with this uh, solution is that you need to run the soft MPU software. Type soft MPU slash MPU colon 330. That's the address that uh, most games are looking for the MIDI device slash output colon com one, where we just connected the MIDI adapter. Connect your MIDI synthesizer, start the game, and you're good to go. So what is SoftMPU? According to the README file, SoftMPU is a DOS TSR or Terminant Stay Resident that emulates an intelligent mode hardware MPU 401 interface. It also tells us in the README that it requires EMM386 4.46 or better. Hence, we can only use this on 386 computers or better. So, soft MPU was actually a software to fix the intelligent mode problem on MIDI interfaces. And since soft MPU not only works with an existing MIDI interface, but also works with an RS-232 port, now we have an easy way to get MIDI on almost any MS-DOS computer. If you saw my review of the MP32L, you probably noticed that I talked about MIDI intelligent mode games. According to the Wikipedia list of MIDI games, many games need intelligent mode, like King's Quest 1 and Space Quest 3. So, to get these to work with non-intelligent mode devices like the Sound Blasters, at least the Sound Blasters I have, you would also need the soft MPU and therefore a 386 or better anyway. So to summarize, you can use the MPU-232 from Zelda Shop, connect it to any 386 or better, run the soft MPU software and connect it to your MIDI device. I only have the MP32L synthesizer, which emulates the MT32 and the CM32 and a lot of others general MIDI synthesizer. So check out that video. Enough talk, let's test some more games. First Monkey Island, then Prehistoric. Thank you for watching uh, my channel. I hope you liked this video. If you did, press like. See you again.